guys today's video is going to be a week in the life and we're actually getting a little bit of a later start to the day but we're gonna kick off the vlog with a little bit of bathroom organization i've been meaning to just kind of rearrange things a little bit and get more organized in our cabinets and our drawers and also just do like a little bit of a facelift first thing we are going to tackle are the middle drawers. My plan is to put my makeup in my drawer here. I freed up some drawer space and our drawers are fairly narrow. So I went to Target and I got these storage bins from their new Bright Room collection, which is all like storage and organization. It's all like really decently priced. These are their medium size storage bins and they were $2 each. So I'm gonna try organizing my makeup in these. It always comes back to you. Makeup drawer is done. Everything fit perfectly. The brushes are still under the sink, but I just have a little brush caddy for them. So I'll just pull that up on the counter when I need them. And then up here, my hair stuff's already nice and organized. I've got scrunchies, clips, bobby pins, my two brushes, and then some hair ties. So this is all done. And then that's freed up the bottom drawer so I'm gonna put like my straightener and my curling iron blow dryer and things in there so now that the drawers are organized I need to wipe down my cabinets so badly I wanted to show you underneath my sink because I did organize it and clean it up over here I've had these acrylic drawers for so long and now I just have all of my like manicure dip nail stuff in there as you guys know I do my own nails and stuff so i have a whole little section for that and then up top i used another one of the storage bins from target to put all of my makeup eraser towels my mom got me a huge set for christmas and they're awesome you just like take your makeup off with water in one of these so i store them in here and then down here i have my brush caddy which i'll just pull up when i do my makeup but it's super cute i got that at home goods and back there, I just have like period supplies. Up here, I have a bin for hair products and then a bin for lotion, like self tanner and stuff. And then down here, I just have a drawer of like miscellaneous stuff. So the bottom of my sink is a lot less cluttered and just more accessible. Another thing I wanna work on today is the countertop. I feel like it just needs a little something extra, a little warmth. So I found these beautiful baskets from Home Goods. This one's $9.99 and I also found a slightly bigger one that is $12.99. I feel like that's such a good price for these baskets. So I might play around with styling a tray in the center here and I think I'm going to try the big one. Tell me what you like. After playing around with it a little bit, I actually moved everything into the smaller tray just to have a little more counter space that made more sense. And honestly, it's not even that cramped in here. Um, but I condensed our toothbrushes into just one little toothbrush holder. And these are so cute. How aesthetically pleasing are these toothbrushes? They're from Target. And then I took out a couple stems from my vase because I just felt like it was too full. I just wanted it to be a little bit more bare. And then this canister I've had forever is from Target. We've had it since we moved in, but I've got my cotton pads in here and then Q-tips. And then I moved over my little bathroom tray just to be a little more sturdy for our delicate items. So I've got Matt's cologne and my perfume and then my little gua sha stone. And then sometimes I will put jewelry in there as well. Like a little bit of gold jewelry will be super cute in there. So that's my little bathroom refresh. I love it. I feel like it added a little bit of warmth and something extra to the space while still keeping like the rest of the countertops pretty minimal, which I like. And I'll just return this one to Home Goods and get 13 bucks back. It's so pretty. I'm sure I could find another place for it in the house, but 
I'll probably just return it. Now that the bathroom is done, I'm gonna get the kids in the tub for early baths and then we're gonna just like snuggle and watch a movie to just unwind a little bit. So the kiddos wanted to use a bath bomb from Lush. So we have this little like Cinderella carriage one. We're gonna see what it looks like. Can't remember the scent of this one. on dinner we're gonna make like a taco ring I think that's what it's called I'll link the recipe down below but we actually got an air fryer like a week ago I want to say and we have been loving it it is so easy I don't know why it took us so long to get one but I was able to get one on sale at Target for a really good deal so I'm gonna be using that tonight this is our air fryer it's the power XL and I got the five quart size they have different sizes you can go smaller or larger but it's a touch screen so you have temperature time and then it also has all of these like manual settings as well for whatever you're cooking dinner for the kiddos and I and I got a surprise delivery from crumble I'm so excited I haven't had crumble in a while my good friend Aaron sent over a box because of me getting the job as a substitute which is just so nice good morning guys it's the next day dinner last night was delicious by the way Matt was very pleased with it he thought that I ordered in from somewhere I said no I made this <laughs> so Definitely a winner. The kids really enjoyed it too. And then we enjoyed uh, some cookies for dessert, which were delicious. So anyways, I'm just getting ready for the day. We don't have a lot going on, but I just felt like putting on a little bit of makeup and trying out my new little organized system. Today, I have got to get my paperwork ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's my onboard meeting. So I can start subbing and I just want to have it all laid out so I don't forget anything tomorrow morning when I'm trying to get Jackson to school and all that. It's just mornings are a little chaotic when you've got stuff to do with kiddos. So going to get that all set and then my mom's going to come over in a few hours so we can possibly start the pool planning process, which is crazy. Oh, we've been wanting to put a pool in our yard for years. Hopefully it can happen just because like costs of everything and supplies it's all over the place because of covid but we're going to attempt to start so she's going to come over and help us kind of like lay everything out because we have an idea of what we want for our pool it's very simple but we just kind of want to get a visual my mom's actually been like her own subcontractor on her past two pools so she's gonna do that for us which is great because it cuts down on the cost of things and like not going through a pool company and my mom is awesome so she has like all of the people that she hired for her past two pools so that's very exciting um but yeah i'm gonna finish getting ready for the day and then we'll get on with this vlog i'm just looking at the list of things i need for tomorrow's meeting 
Driver's license is downstairs. Fingerprint card is downstairs. Need a passport. I need a voided check, teaching certificate, and then a proof of the MMR vaccine. And that should do it. So my mom is on her way over and then we are gonna get started on kind of just figuring out all of the pool stuff. And I cannot wait to like kind of just have a visual and see what it could look like. just really going over how we wanted it to look and getting measurements and like kind of plotting it out with stakes and some string and it just feels real like seeing where the water would go and like where the decking would be and all of that so next steps are to draw up the plan and like submit it to the city and also to HOA and then get um, estimates for everything so at least we have a good start i know it's not going to be like the quickest process because there is like a shortage of everything but at least we have a start and we're excited so i'm about to get a workout in because it is like almost dinner time and if i don't get this done now i'm not going to get it in Workout was good, nice and quick, and now I'm gonna get started on dinner. So I'm, we're just gonna have a simple salad tonight and some sweet potato fries. I think the kiddos are gonna have some mac and cheese as well because we have some leftovers. <music> gonna need lemon juice tahini honey olive oil salt pepper garlic and chives I'll put the recipe down in the description box so you guys can follow along day and it's the morning of my onboard meeting so I'm a little nervous but I'm excited an onboard meeting is basically just like getting set up in the system and getting my badge and like all the nitty-gritty paperwork and things so that's where I'm gonna head this morning my mom's gonna come hang out with Quinn so I'm gonna take Jackson to school and then go directly 
to the meeting. Outfit of the day is this fuzzy little cardigan from Banana Republic. Then I have these trouser pants that I've had for forever from Forever 21. And then my slip on like mules that I've had for forever as well. And these are from Target. So that's today's outfit for the meeting. It's pajama day at school, so Jackson's very excited. He gets to bring a little stuffy from home, so he's gonna bring his little bear from London. I just gotta write his name on it. Are you excited? Oh, I wrote it right here. Yay! <laughs> I love you! Oh. starting next week so I'm really excited and also a little nervous as well but I'm excited for the most part so I'm all set up in this system I got like my photo taken for my badge and yeah it's really cool there's like an app to use to like choose which teaching jobs you want to take and it seems pretty easy but they definitely need the help and I'll help as much as I can. My mom's going to help watch the kids at least one day a week. And Matt, when he has like his rotating day off, I'll probably work on those days as well. That's the plan. And I'm excited. But I actually have a little bit of time before I have to go pick up Jackson. So I'm going to run just a few errands. Like I have to return the shirt at H&M and I have to return um, the basket I bought from Home Goods. And yeah, then it'll be time to pick up Jackson. Look who I just picked up. How's what? your lollipop? What is it? You, I just picked you up. Mm. <laughs> How was your day? Good. What'd you do? It was a lovely day today. It was a lovely day today? Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Friday. I am so excited it's the weekend. I just feel like this week has been busy. I just cannot wait to not have anything to do. It's going to be really nice. I'm also looking forward to a cocktail or a glass of wine. Sometimes I'll have like a glass of wine or two during the week, but I haven't been doing that lately. I've been saving it for the weekend, so it's like an extra special treat. But anyways i am at grocery pickup right now i just dropped jackson off at school and i'm actually trying out a different grocery store or different fries i should say because if you remember in my last vlog my grocery order was canceled and they're just really understaffed so they suggested going elsewhere that has more staff this grocery store actually makes more sense because it's close to jackson's school and i usually pick up groceries on friday after i drop them off and then i was driving like further than I needed to for whatever reason so this makes more sense and it wasn't canceled and there was like only one substitution I'll be sure to do a little grocery haul when I get home I have got some take and bake French dinner rolls bananas broccoli green onion cilantro limes onion chipotle aioli these yummy cookies from Pepperidge Farms goldfish Honey Nut Cheerios, Ritz Crackers, Black Beans, Corn, some Iceberg Lettuce, Avocados, Zucchini, Yogurt, Strawberries, Milk, Creamer, Almond Milk, Orange Juice, got some Mac and Cheese, Pasta, our Uncooked Tortillas, English Muffins, I have a Basil Pesto Alfredo Sauce, some eggs, ice cream, tortellini. I got some frozen burritos that'll be easy to pop in the air fryer. 
waffles, a big thing of kettle chips, and also some coffee for Matt. I was doing our grocery haul one-handed because Quinny wanted me to hold her. Hi, baby boo. He's so sweet. Can you say hello? Hello. So I'm actually gonna close the vlog out here before it gets too long, but I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.